rolling. Hi guys, how's it going? This is Amanda from Amanda Around the Globe. Today I'm really excited to make a video about how to become an au pair and how I became an au pair in Australia and what I do and all of that stuff. Like I'll tell you guys how much I get paid, what's included in my pay. Let's get into it. So I found this job on Facebook in a Facebook group. I was looking through this group one night and I saw an ad for an au pair in Sydney. This is when I lived in Melbourne and I was planning to come to Sydney. So I wasn't here yet. And I contacted the woman who put the ad out and I said, um, I would be interested in this position. So I had a Skype meeting with her FaceTime and I, we just had a little chat. She introduced me to the kids she asked me some questions about how I would entertain children and what I would do with them and all that stuff and then I asked her some questions about like the living situation and what's kind of included in the situation and um, what the kids are like and all of that stuff so I got to know them a little bit over FaceTime I think our our talk was maybe 15 20 minutes on FaceTime the first time we talked and then I kept in contact with her over Facebook and after that FaceTime meeting she let me know like if you want to come here we'd be happy to have you and so I accepted the position. I don't have any experience. I've done babysitting when I was living at home in the United States like when I was in school but I haven't been a nanny before or an au pair before. We don't really have that in the United States. It's not common to have a live-in au pair. I told her I've, I'm like in my late 20s and I don't necessarily have experience as a nanny or an au pair but I have experience with kids, I've babysat before, I grew up in a family of four, like I, I'm capable. What I do here is I am working for a family with three kids. The mother is a nurse and so she either has morning shifts or evening shifts and then the father works in the Navy so he works a uh, typical like, I think he works 7 to 3 or something like that. He, he goes to work pretty early in the morning and then he gets back at a pretty reasonable hour. Basically what I do is if the mom is working a morning shift and so both the parents are gone in the morning then I will wake the kids up at 7.30, between 7 and 7.30 a.m. I'll get them ready and I take them to school. Now, I'm really lucky because I don't have an Australian driver's license, but I do I do have an American driver's license, but it's actually expired because I've been traveling so long that I haven't renewed it. So I don't currently have a driver's license. The family actually lives close to the school that the kids go to, and so I just walk them to school, which is really, really easy. So basically in the morning, I'll just get get them up, get them ready for school. The whole thing takes less than two hours. Take them to school, they're at school, and then I have the entire day to myself until they get out of school. They get out at three o'clock, and if the mother is working a morning shift, then I just pick them up, and she gets back home around four, and they get out of school at three, so pretty easy, I'm just with them for about an hour, I just unpack their lunch boxes, I make them a snack and hang out with them until their mom gets home. And so sometimes the mom will work an evening shift, no, that was if she works a morning shift. So if she works an evening shift, then she gets them up and she gets them ready in the morning, I don't have to do anything in the morning. She goes to work at 1.15 and I just pick the kids up from school and I hang out with them until their dad gets home sometime between 4 and 5. So all in all, I don't really work a ton. So as I'm editing this video, I realize I didn't say that the youngest child doesn't go to school on Thursdays or Fridays. So I usually spend about two hours with her in the afternoon until the other two get out and then another two until the father gets home with all three. I live here. My room and board is included in my pay. I get paid 250 Australian dollars a week. So I can use that to go explore Sydney, um, whatever I want to use it for, I can. I'm currently budgeting myself at $50 a week I'll give myself to spend. So that means on the weekends, I can use that money for transportation. I can use that money um, if I need to like eat out or go to the grocery store to get food over the weekend. I can use that money um, to do anything that I want to do. So sometimes I will like, meet a friend and go out for a coffee or something like that. I generally tend to spend about 30 to $50 a weekend just on, you know, 
things. Um, just in general, I spend about that much money because I do spend a lot of time on the weekend away from home and yeah, you know, you gotta survive. So I do spend about, yeah, 30 to $50 a week. The rest of that money I'm saving because I plan to do a road trip up north once I leave Sydney. So I'm vegan, the family's not vegan. Uh, the mom of the family does the grocery shopping and she basically just asks me what I want if there's anything specific that I want and she'll buy that for me so if I need any vegan specific things she gets that for me so she gets me soy milk she gets me tofu and then other than that I basically just eat like rice and beans I have a what I eat in a day video I mean I eat pretty basic foods I'm pretty much need to be here Monday through Friday um, I can leave during the day when the kids are at school if I would like to, but I generally tend to stay at home and work on my website or my YouTube channel or one of my writing jobs. I have two freelance writing jobs that are pretty consistent. I really like being an au pair. I think it definitely has some serious pros and cons. If you are the kind of person that's really like a homebody and you don't mind living with kids, then it would be really good for you because you don't have to worry about paying rent, you don't have to worry about buying food, like all that stuff is included and basically the money that you make is just money that you can use to do whatever you want. You can save it all if you want to and yeah, it's a really easy way to live somewhere and explore the city if you're gonna stay somewhere long term. Um, it's a really, really good option. I would really recommend it. I don't have to do any kind of deep cleaning or anything. Um, the parents of the family just told me that I, um, they just expect me to clean as much as I would normally in a shared house. So, you know, like clean up after myself. I help them clean up after dinner. I always clean up after the kids when they eat anything. And yeah, it's pretty basic. Um, I keep my room clean. I'm just naturally a clean person. I don't really have a lot of stuff to make it messy. I think that's all I can think of to talk about. So if you guys have any other questions about being an au pair, um, let me know in the comments below and yeah, I'll just answer them. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!